Hi, I'm the narrator. Welcome to another story time. This one is going to be action packed. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. The name of this story is called Masquerade Brawl. Now, this story is part of the Bakugan Battle Brawlers series, and it was adapted by Tracy West. Now, what that means is this story was originally made for TV. However, Tracy West has adapted it for a book that now you are going to get to enjoy. So let's get started. Drago is a Pyrus Dragonoid, a red Bakugan with huge wings. He comes from Vestoria, the home of all Bakugan. One day, bad energy exploded in Vestoria. Many Bakugan fell out of Vestoria and became trapped on Earth. Drago became Dan's Bakugan. Drago had even spoken to Dan once during a battle. But Drago didn't want to be owned by a human. He wanted to get back to Vestoria. Dan didn't know any of that. So he brought Drago to school with him to show him off. Feast your eyes on the one and only Drago, guys, Dan bragged. Is that the one that talks? Asked a short boy with spiky hair. Hey, Dan, make it say something, said another boy. I'm so jealous, a girl said. Mine has not said one word yet. One boy didn't believe Dan. Maybe you just made the whole thing up, Danny, he said. Dan smiled. I'll prove it to you, all right. Ready, Drago? Dan asked. It's showtime. Dan tossed the red Bargugan ball in the air. Bargugan, stand! Drago landed on a desk. But he didn't come out of his Bargugan ball. He didn't talk either. Bakugan, stand! 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 Dan yelled. He tried again and again, but Drago didn't move or talk. The kids were disappointed. Maybe it's busted, a boy said. Dan bent down and whispered into the Bakugan ball. You're embarrassing me, Drago, he hissed. Silly human. Drago thought, he thinks I'm here to play games, but I have an important job to do. I have to save Vestoria. Dan was still upset with Drago after school. Thanks for wrecking my life, Drago. All you had to do was talk. I wonder if all the other brawlers out there have such a stubborn Bakugan. But when Dan logged on, he found out that lots of brawlers didn't have their Bakugan anymore. Someone named Masquerade was still in Bakugan during battles. Runo had even lost Terra Claw. We have to do something, Dan, Marucho said. Dan agreed. Don't worry, guys. You can count on me. I'm going to put my own Bakugan on the line and challenge Masquerade. A voice piped up next to Dan. It was Drago. Is this all just a game to you? Drago asked. Hello? This is the greatest game ever! Dan said. Whoa, did you just talk, Drago? Listen to me, human. I am not a toy, Drago said, rolling clothes again. Bagugan is more than a game. But Dan didn't listen to Drago's warning. He challenged Masquerade anyway. Nobody bullied the brawlers and got away with it. The next day, Dan was ready to battle. So was Masquerade. Field open. Gate card set, the brawlers shouted. Masquerade threw another card onto the field too. Your move, he said. Dan wasn't sure what Masquerade had thrown down, but he decided to use Serpinoid. Bakugan, stand, he yelled. Masquerade used Reaper. 
an evil looking darkest beast with ragged wings and big horns. Dan wasn't worried. He knew Serpinoid would still win. But then, Masquerade played an ability card Dan had never seen before. It was called Dimension 4. Suddenly, Dan's G power points dropped and Reaper used his weapon to cut a hole in the battle space above Serpinoid. Dan's Bakugan was sucked through the hole. Oh no! Dan cried. He took my beast right out of the battle! Dan wasn't giving up. He threw down Saurus, but Masquerade was prepared and played another special card, Double Dimension. Saurus vanished just like Serpinoid. No fair! I want my Bakugan back! Dan cried. Sorry, Masquerade said. Once the Doom card is played, the battle is over. The Doom card overpowers all cards and sends the defeated Bakugan into another dimension forever, Masquerade explained. Drago spoke up. He's right, human. A Bakugan can never return from the Doom dimension. Now I know how you're stealing everyone's Bakugan, Dan said. But why are you wrecking our game? Masquerade smiled. Who said this was just a game? Every single battle is real. Every single battle is real? Dan thought. Drago had told him that same thing. Dan had one more chance. He couldn't lose now. Reaper and Drago faced each other on the field. But this time, Masquerade's plan didn't work. Dan's last card broke apart in his hand as the Bagugan field exploded. Once the field had disappeared, Dan was relieved to find Drago's Bagugan ball. He hadn't won the brawl, but at least he still had Drago. Bagugan is not a game. It's a battle that can lead to the destruction of the entire world, Masquerade said smiling. And the only way to stop it is for you to defeat me. Dan knew this wasn't the last time he'd see the mysterious brawler. And if it was up to him to save the world, he would be ready. I will beat you, Masquerade! Well, my young readers, that ends our story. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something from it. I'm sure Dan has, and I'm hoping Dan will be able to help Drago get back to his world and help him there too. Well, until next time, my young readers, this is the narrator, out.